Hi, I'm Virginia from Peaceful Acres Farm, and today we're going to be making a Grogu pin. Okay, first we're going to go over our supplies. Uh, very simple supplies, not super expensive. This is a great project to do in a pinch. Okay, so now we have our three colors of felt. We have a chenille needle, which means a sharp needle with a big eye, and a size 20 or 22 works really well for a felt pen project. I have my embroidery floss. You can even use craft floss. And for this project, I have green to match my green felt. I have black for the eyes, and I have like a beigey brown. And you can kind of go darker or lighter with the shades of floss, and it's not going to make a big difference. Uh, you'll also just need a pair of scissors and your template that's located at the back of the handout. It's the picture at the bottom of the second page. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cut out our template and then we are going to lay it on top of our felt and just cut around it. So you want to take the piece that says brown and put it on top of your brown felt and use your scissors to cut out the same shapes in the felt. Um, and then we are going to start sewing them together. Before we start sewing, we're going to thread our needle. So the eye on a chenille needle is pretty big, so you shouldn't have too hard of a time getting the thread to go through. And then we're going to talk about how to knot it. I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot in the end of my thread so that it doesn't pull through the felt. And I'm going to do two so that it's plenty big enough. Okay, the very first stitch we're going to do is a blanket stitch around the top of Grogu's head and around his ears. To do the blanket stitch, have the edge of the fabric facing away from you. And if you look on your diagram on the bottom of your handout, you'll see the blanket stitch diagram and you want to come up where it says number one, which is near the edge of the fabric and pull it until the knot catches. Then where it says two, you want to push down from the top of the fabric into the fabric and come up where it says three without pulling the needle all the way through. And once you come out at three, then you want to pull through. But you need to make sure that the thread goes under your needle and is to the left of your needle. And then pull. And it'll catch that loop. You want to keep going, you want to go down at two, up at three near the edge, and make sure that the thread is to the left and that it goes up under your needle and pull through until it catches. Got wrapped on his little ear. And you want to continue to do that all the way around the edge.
All right, after you do your very last stitch, you want to go to the back of the fabric. Just poke your needle down into the fabric. Pull the thread all the way through. And what you want to do is knot it on the back so that it won't come undone. So just pick a stitch that you made before and just go through just the thread. And you want to make a loop with the remaining thread and just go through it and pull it tight. And you want to do that two times just to make it secure. Then trim with your scissors. The next stitch that we're going to do is a blanket stitch around the brown piece of felt, but we're going to put it on top of the Grogu green body piece, and we're going to do a blanket stitch around the edge of it, being sure to catch the green felt with the thread as well. Once you do your very last stitch, go around to the back, just like we did with the green. Pull it through. And we're going to actually do a running stitch all the way across, back down. So if you look on the diagram for the running stitch, it's really simple. You're just going to go up and down so I'm going to come up right here where I want to start pull it all the way through and I'm going to make a long running stitch and just go back down pull it all the way through and then I'm going to look on the back and come up near where I went down because I want it to be one long line so I'm going to come right back up, make another long stitch and go right back down. And just do that till you get back to the bottom. And when you get to the corner, you're just going to tie it off just like you did before. Now we are going to stitch the very light brown piece on top of the dark brown piece. To attach the little fuzzy part to the top of the robe, all we're going to do is something called a seed stitch. And a seed stitch is just a running stitch, so just that basic up-down sewing motion. But it's just little tiny ones, and they're all separated, so it's little tiny stitches. It's kind of hard to see because they blend in with this felt. The main thing is to remember that you go through all of the pieces of felt, so all three pieces. I have the same color thread on my needle, and I have a knot on the end, and I'm going to start by coming up from the bottom. And then I'm going to go down just near that anyway, any direction I want, just random little stitches.
Now we're going to work on the eyes. These are just very small running stitches and you can do them however you want. You could do a filled in circle so you could do a whole lot of running stitches so that it looks like a complete circle or you could just do what I did here and make just a, like four or five to make the shape of the eye. And then for his nose, I'm just going to do a small little running stitch with the green thread. I'm going to use a sharpie to put two dots where I want the eyes to be, so I'll be sure and put them in the right place. And then I'm just going to stitch over that with my black floss. I'm going to start at the bottom and come up to the top. And I'm just going to do running stitches for his eyes. For the very last step, you're going to peel the sticker paper off of the back of your pen, or if it doesn't have sticker paper, just take some glue and put some glue on there and stick it onto the back of your pen. And he's all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you soon.